What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another Lumion tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to talk about how to quickly move items to different layers so you can show different options in a space. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so in this video I'm going to talk about taking um, different objects and moving them quickly onto different layers so you can show different options. If you guys are interested, uh, there was a post on the Lumion blog a little while ago where they showed an animation where it transitioned between different options. If that's something you're interested in, we can talk about how to create a similar type of video with the animation function, but for now I just want to show you how to quickly put things on layers, because that's something that's really good to know anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to select the objects that I want to put on my layer. And so in order to do that, I'm just going to activate the select function, and for right now probably what I'm going to do is just select the indoor feature. So we've got select and indoor. You can see how now all of the different indicators for these objects are kind of lit up and you can mouse over them and select them. So in order to select these you're just going to hold the control key and you're just going to click on these different objects and you don't need to click on the little indicators you can click on the objects themselves as well and uh, we're just going to use this in order to select these objects you can also click and drag with your mouse um, you have to be a little bit careful with that to not pick up objects that are behind those though which is why if you're not selecting a lot of them it's just a little bit easier to just hold the control key and select these so once you have all these objects selected um, you can see how they're all going to be blue in here so blue indicates that these objects are selected. Well now what I want to do is I want to create a layer or I want to name a layer and put those objects on that layer. So in this case I'm just going to use layer 2 so I'm going to come up and click on layer 2 I'm just going to name that something like we'll go up and click on it again we'll name it something like option 1 and then once we've named that option one, you can see there's a little arrow right here and you can click on the button for move selection to layer. What that's gonna do is that's gonna move everything you've selected to that layer. Well now, you can turn that on and off. And the nice thing about that is I can move more objects to the layer. Like for example, if I don't want this art on the wall anymore or these pieces of furniture, I can just do the same thing where I hold the control key and I go in and click on these, then just do the same thing, click the button for move selection to layer. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to bring in some different furniture and other things that's going to be a part of my other furniture option. So the first thing I want to do is if you look up in the corner, you can see how the two is showing up. And really what that's indicating is that that's the active layer right now. Well, we don't want to add new objects onto layer two because this is going to be a part of a second option. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this other layer here. I'm just going to select it and I'm going to name this one option three. And I'm going to make sure that I have this one selected. So you can see how the one that's lit up indicates the active layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to real quickly just bring in some furniture. So I'm just going to click on the place and I'm going to click on indoor. And in this case, we'll do some seating. We'll just make this easy and we'll bring in like a sofa. And I'm going to hold the R key in order to rotate that. And we'll just click here in order to place the sofa. Um, we'll do a real quick search for like rug. We'll bring in a rug right here on the ground and I'm going to rotate that this way. We'll find a nice coffee table like this one. That one's a little bit tall. Maybe we'll bring this one in instead. That one's a little small. We'll do this Japanese table. So we'll place that Japanese table in here. And you can always fine tune your rotation a little bit later. And then maybe we'll bring in some lights or some lamps or something like that. So maybe I'll bring in a floor lamp over here, kind of turn it this way. Maybe another floor lamp over here. And then we can go ahead and we can place something on the table. So maybe like a board game or something like that. We can kind of rotate that so that that's placed in here. Well notice, since we brought all of these objects in here um, with the layer three, the option three layer active, well now, since I brought those in on layer three, it's really easy for me to turn those on and off. And so I can transition between these different 
options just by turning on the different layers. So you can really create as many layers as you want to in order to do this. But this is just a really easy way to show different furniture options and other options like that inside of Lumion. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you like this tutorial? Do you like more quick Lumion tips or do I need to get more in depth? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering videos every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.